Have you ever noticed how easy it is to get pulled into a struggle with your own thoughts and feelings? We all readily do this. It comes naturally to us. We start fighting and struggling with our own thoughts and feelings. It's as if we get pulled into this game of chess where we've got all our positive thoughts and feelings on one side of the board and all our negative thoughts and feelings on the other side. And we get so invested in trying to win this game, we move the positive thoughts and feelings across the board, hoping to dominate it, hoping to wipe out all the negative thoughts and feelings. But there are at least two problems of going through life this way. Firstly, there's an infinite number of positive and negative pieces. So this battle is never over, it's ongoing forever. The other problem is that positive pieces actually attract negative pieces. You move the positive piece, I'm a good friend, it attracts the negative piece, no you're not, what about the time you did that? You move the positive piece, I accept myself, it attracts the negative piece, no you don't, what about your thighs, what about your stretch marks, what about your pot belly? So what if we could learn how to be like the board? The board's in intimate contact with the pieces, it makes a space for the pieces, but it's not involved in the fighting. If we can learn how to be more like the board, to step back and watch our thoughts and feelings, to let them come and go, to make space for them, without getting caught up in a fight or a struggle or conflict with them, we're in a much better space to build a rich and meaningful life. Because we can invest our time and effort and energy in acting on our values and behaving like the sort of person we really want to be, instead of investing our precious energy in a futile struggle with our own thoughts and feelings.